Hello everyone. So the Simon Says One of a Kind release, title of this video, obvious, um, is live already. I've been telling everyone about it already and finally filming my haul video. Um, I have most of the release here. Simon Says Stamp was amazingly generous again and I'm just blown away by all this fabulous stuff. So like I said, I have most of it here. There's a few items I don't have. I always link to everything. I'll have a link to this whole release and then links to all the individuals. You can check them out below. I'll also have them on my blog, all nice and fancy picture links that makes it easier to see what the heck I'm talking about. So yeah, lots of great stuff. Um, two new ink colors. We've got watermelon and key lime. I love, I love this color. No idea how it'll come across on people's screens and whatnot, but it's just the perfect, it is a, like watermelon pink. Love. Live. So there's that one and then key lime, which is just a gorgeous green. I love bright greens. Like this is my kind of green. So two new ink colors. And then this is new. This is the Circle Doodle Embossing Plate. And I think I have one embossing plate that I had quite some time ago. I usually don't use things like this because I don't have them, but this is really neat. So it's metal, just like so. And the design is etched into it. And the best way to use something like this is to have your cardstock and then a rubber um, embossing mat, which I have one. I have a couple, you can usually get them in packs. If I remember, hopefully I remember to link um, to these, because usually they come in sets of two. So I have a thicker one, a thinner one. You have to kind of experiment, like this will work in any machine, but then you just need to experiment with your like sandwich stack. So you'd have this, then your cardstock, and then usually the thicker um, mat, and then you know your cutting plates and you run it through your machine, etc. So like I said, it helps to kind of experiment, see what works best for your machine to get the impression. And you won't get like a super thick raised impression, which I actually kind of like. You would just get like a, just a light, nice impression. So I think this is really cool. So yeah, it's the circle doodle embossing plate. And yeah, cause I don't use textured like actual embossing folders very often cause I find they're just, they're a lot of times they're just too thick for me. Like the ray, the dimension I just don't like but I like the idea of having just a little bit of texture. So I think this is cool. This is gonna be fun. So there's that. And then of course I had people contacting me about this one. They're like, this is so you. And it is, it's what I think my favorite out of this entire release. This is the bouquet of thanks stamp set. And the second I see it, all I think of stamping, embossing, watercoloring, but I'd also, you know, stamp it in. It would look gorgeous stamped in that barely beige ink that I've been using and do my faux no line watercolor. Some really pretty sentiments in this with sympathy, with love, friend, teacher, hello, grateful for you, thank you, mom. So pretty. There's a coordinating die for this image. And what I really like about this die is it doesn't just cut, you know, the outline. It includes all these like interior pieces. So it will cut out all of these little inner spots Two thumbs up, two thumbs up. I love that so, so much. Cause again, I was doing that with some of the pre-printed um, watercolor images, you know, and using my craft knife to cut, which is okay, but hello. So love this. If it was just an outline, I'd be like, mm, it's nice, but I love that it includes all those pieces. That's a, that's a game changer. <laughs> so there's that one. And then this one's actually, this is really cute. This is the Fingerprint Doodles stamp set. Is that not just the cutest little thing? So you got some little fingerprint images that you can stamp in different colors. And then you can stamp and create all these little doodles with all these little characters. There's a cat, and little birds, a dog, bunny, a lion, etc. Like, so cute. And if you wanted, obviously, you could use your fingerprints, your kids. I think my kids would have so much fun with this. Me, personally, I would prefer to stamp the fingerprints because I just... Don't like getting stuff on my hands. So I like that it includes those for people like me that just you knew. So really cute. And then yeah, one of a kind, do your best. So proud of you, be yourself as sentiments. There's a flamingo even. Seriously, that's so cute. That is so cute. So there's that one. 
And then we've got the um, Big Greetings 1, which leads me to believe, I assume, they'll be coming out with more like this. Really like these. So I love you, big thanks, so amazing. Happy birthday, hooray, congrats, love and hugs. Hey there, thanks. I love this like font. This with a gorgeous heat embossed on black, but also just stamped in black. You could kind of color it in or do like a wash of, you know, color behind it, etc. just to make these really stand out or you could stamp it and color in just some of these areas. Like very nice and bold and yet not too, too big but bold enough that you can kind of, you know, really pop out on your cards. So I really like this. There's that one. And then we have the um, So Cool stamp set, which I think is really cute. I love it. It has the outline and the solid. So you could use either or, or both of them. Stamp in solid colors, stamp the outline over it, or stamp the outline and emboss it. And then there's a cute little border as well of all these little like popsicles and revels and everything else. Have a chill summer, you're my favorite flavor, you're so cool, stay cool. The sticks are separate, so same thing, you can stamp those in different colors. I think this is just a really cute, fun set, and to me it just says summer. And then yes, coordinating dies for this one as well. So you've got all of your main images, the stick separately, and then you can even cut out the fun little, um, border set or border stamp so really 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 like this one I think it's just it's just cute I'm loving all this summer stuff it's really cold and rainy here as I'm filming this so I'm just like bring summer please so there's that and then we have these two great fruit themed sets that I'm just I don't even know where to begin with these. There's just so much that I just love. So this one is Dancing Fruits. And I love, I love images like this that have like the sentiment embedded kind of in them. So yeah, sunny days and lemonade, summer fun, hooray for summer, enjoy, happy summer. But then you also have some outline images. So you've got your lemon or lime, apple, pear. I love how it's got little dots on it for some added texture. And then there's little leaves in solid. Oh, there's this little pineapple wheel. Really cute. So these, of course, I would totally want to watercolor in. And then these ones would be really fun to do two or even three tones of different inks, you know, use your misty and a cloth and that sort of thing and like re-stamp them several times to get like variations in color. That could be really fun. Really fun. So I like, I like a lot. There's that one. And then there's this one. This is Artsy Fruits, and it's just a big, like, fruit building set. So you've got um, watermelon center, and then the pieces to create a watermelon slice. You can do orange or lemon or lime um, slices here. There's three stamps for that. There's strawberries. There's a pear. It's even got the little center, so you can stamp so it looks like the pears, you know, cut in half. Um, same with the apple here, and then, like, images to just add some color. And then I like these ones too, these little like side images, you know, that you can create little citrus fruits and leaves and stems and just all this stuff. It's just such a fun set. And when you see it in action, it's just like, oh yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So fun for creating little backgrounds or little focal images. I'm thinking even like little tags and stuff. These would look so cute stamped on, like, it's just cute. Just, just cute. So. There's that, and then there is a whole bunch of dies um, being released, or been released. Um, this is the Big Day Wafer Die. It's really cute. So, today is a big day, and I like it that it's all one piece, like all on one line. So it just makes it easy, you can die cut that and like stick it onto a card. It's not all like separate little pieces you have to fiddle with. I like simplicity. Simplicity, and yet it's got, um, it's got a fun, like, kind of hand-drawn looking font to it. So, I really like that one. And then we've got the three-sided scallop die. So let's, we've got that one. So yeah, you've got this cool three-sided scallop. This would be great to add, like, and it's large. So to add, like, a layer on your card, or, you know, an opening flap, different things like that. And it's solid, you know, onto here, so you can cut it apart if you want. Really neat die. I'm really curious to see how the other design team members use it because sometimes I'll look at ones like this and I'm like, hmm. And then I see it in use and I'm like, oh, duh, obviously, obviously. But yeah, that would be my first thought would be to like die cut it and create like, you know, my opening as a scallop. So it's neat. I really like this one. So there's that. 
And then we have these super, super cute. There's the picture book bear and picture book fox dies that are just, aren't those cute? They're so cute. So yeah, die cut these from, you know, white cardstock and color mint or die cut them from several colors of cardstock and paper piece them all together. It looks so cute on cards, bookmarks, anything like that. I've already seen someone did a card using, um, I think the fox, with this um, frond collage die. They created a little window with this, which I just love. Is that not gorgeous? Look how big that is. Love. And then they tucked the little, you know, you could tuck the little characters in behind it. I just think it's so cute. So, so cute. I cut those from felt. So many things you can do. So, and yeah, frond collage, just a gorgeous, you can create a gorgeous shaker card with this, stamp a sentiment, you know, have this as your window, back with some acetate, or just have this as a layer on your card, you know, window, little characters peeking through, all that kind of stuff. This is a really, I like this one. I really like this one. And the size of it's quite large, so it kind of takes up, you know, the focal point of your card. So let's do those. And then we have we now have the Corbel Wreath die. There was the banner or the strip with the strip and the ornament. I think we had a heart. So yeah, they've got this one now, which like the wreath is just really pretty. And same thing, this is a good size. So you can die cut that, back it with different colors of cardstock, glitter paper, stick a sentiment down the middle, and all sorts of things you can do with that. Have it so it's almost like a window to the inside of the card, etc. So really pretty. So there's that one. And then we have this really pretty heart sprinkle trail. I've got some ideas for this one. I just think it's so cute. So yeah, you can create little little tiny windows, but also like tons, like run this through and there you go. You got a ton of confetti to make little shakers with, all different little heart shapes. And they're nice little heart shapes too. So you can just use those, adhere them onto different cards, whatever. So with all the little dots, and like that confetti, perfect with this. So yeah, or just use it as the background for different things. Like it's just a great die and it's a decent size. So one or two passes and you could have a ton of fun little in different colors, little confetti. For shaker cards, yes. So that, and then have the floral burst collage die. There we go. So yeah, this one's really pretty. And same thing, die cut it from your card. It could be a window to the inside of the card, or die cut it, back it with different colors of cardstock, or die cut it and then inlay these with different colors of cardstock, or you know pieces of glitter paper, etc. And then, you know, use little rhinestones in the center to create a fun little, like, flower image. Throw on a sentiment. You got yourself a card. So, really like that one a lot. And then we've got one more wreath die. This is the heart sprinkle wreath. Same idea. You could use all those little pieces to create shaker elements. But I love that it's also, like, done up as a wreath. So then you've got all these openings. You can, again, back it with paper or just use that as you like the main kind of focus on the front of your card, have a little like sentiment across and then you just open it up to the inside. So cute and they're such a, like they're just a good size. So you can easily put a sentiment or a little character in the center. Love. And then last but not least of what I got, I have the script thanks die. Um, just an FYI, this is actually the, the wrong one. The right version is being sent to me. This was a mistake. So people will not be getting this one. It's actually because it's backwards. <laughs> if I was to die cut this, the word itself would be backwards. So the real die will end up, the one that everyone's gonna be getting if you order it is this. So I love, I love the font. It's got the little um, bubble, that's what I like to call them, bubble layer. So you can die cut the word from one color, die cut the bubble from another color, layer them on top of each other, and then that will just kind of frame the word. I love that a lot. It just gives it that extra little something. So that's the script thanks die. And there's also, there's some sequin mixes and those gorgeous Susie's pre-printable watercolor panels that I've shown so much of. There's a whole new summer themed set. So yeah, like I said, I will have links below the video as well as on my blog post to the whole release that you guys can check out. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Thank you, Simon, for sending all these amazing, amazing products to me. I can't wait to start playing around and using them. 
And yeah, I will see you guys very, very soon in another video. Bye.